Hello, Tim from Fair Play now. 16th of April, 2021. Got a really, really important recommendation for you today. It's the 14th of April edition of UK Column News, uh, which obviously came out a couple of days ago. Although because of technical issues, I think they had it really only came out yesterday and I only got to watch it last night. But on that episode, they had a lady from the NHS. She actually describes herself as a NHS vaccine specialist. So she's a senior nurse. She works, I think, more on the management side of things, especially to do with uh, sort of vaccines and the, uh, the rollout of this one. So she's quite high up and very senior in a particular segment of the NHS, wherever it is in the country she's speaking from. So obviously, normally a very pro-V kind of person, but it looks like not as far as this one's concerned. And she's got so many concerns about it, she's decided to come on to UK Column News and speak out about it all and some of the things she's saying is very very revealing indeed very important to watch it especially if you're someone who is considering having the v or considering having the second kind of lot of it so if you're in that position you definitely need to watch it if you know kind of younger people who are considering having it you need to get them to watch this as well but yeah it's a very very important one to watch if you don't know uk column news i highly suggest that you check them out maybe subscribe to them because they are uh they're kind of not quite mainstream media but they're probably the most mainstream of the sort of fringe media um, who are the kind of media I, I watch because they're the ones who actually go out and research and do proper journalism and tell you what's actually happening rather than the mainstream and all the sort of basically propaganda that they come out with. So really worth checking them out generally, but you really need to watch this particular episode um, especially as more and more of these whistleblowers are going to UK column news, they, it seems to be the uh, media outlet of choice for these whistleblowers to, to go to, including this lady I've just been talking about. And there's more and more people from the NHS and other organisations coming out to them and revealing stuff. So, yeah, you, you really need to sort of check it out. It's quite a long episode, well over an hour, but this lady's right at the start of it and she only talks for about 10 minutes. So yeah, if you haven't got a long time to watch, at least watch the first 10 minutes of it. But it's quite an interesting show because they also talk about this uh, retired British, British Army General, Jonathan Riley. He's written a piece in a publication where he's calling out the whole kind of government narrative and lockdowns and everything uh you know so it's not just conspiracy theorists and cranks coming out with this kind of stuff anymore it's you know people like british army generals retired ones you know you don't get much more establishment than that do you so you couple that with senior currently working which she is NHS nurses uh, who are also calling all this stuff out you really need to start sitting up and taking notice but anyway I'll be as far as that uh, British Army General is concerned I'll be doing another video later on today talking about him and what he's saying but I'll leave it there for now Tim from Fair Play Now thanks for watching